the last couple of weekends we've visited the Great Fen. The Great Fen is situated between Peterborough to the north and Huntingdon to the south and covers a huge area. So in this film I thought I'd feature the places that are well worth a visit on the Fen. Firstly there's the Great Fen Information Point uh, situated on the uh, B660 Ramsey St Mary to Home Road. It's actually called New Decoy Farm and there's a car park and uh, these information boards, a picnic area and a pond area which is still under construction. There's a mown grass track called the Dragonfly Trail which eventually leads you into a nice little wooded area and the sound of woodland birds are all around us. We saw willow warbler, um, black cat wrens and robins and so on but the young leaves are starting to appear on the trees now and uh, on this occasion I was unable to get any clear shots of any birds unfortunately but uh, that's wildlife filming for you following the paths through the woodland uh, eventually brings you out onto pasture land again and I was able to get this uh, shot of uh, this Chinese water deer I thought it was a hare for a start but I thought the ears weren't quite right and uh, Indeed it was a Chinese water deer, not native to this country, but um, they were introduced in the 19th century and uh, gradually spread. OK, travelling south on the B660 brings you to the village of Hoan and if you cross the level crossing here and turn right into Yaxley Road, you turn right again at the sign for Hoan Fen posts which brings you to this really busy uh, level crossing a little bit further down the line this is actually the main east coast line okay, maybe a hundred metres or so across the level crossing brings you to uh, one of the three or four parking places for home fen and then you can walk the 1.6 kilometres uh, through mainly birch woodland to the Trundlemere lookout which overlooks Rhymes Rebed. The reason we visited the hide today was that uh, a great grey shrike has been spotted here since last October and uh, it was showing up to uh, Sunday the 6th of April but unfortunately I think it may have moved on back to its native Norway uh, but there's a good chance it may return next winter so fingers crossed. This is the part of the Great Fen where work is very much uh, still in progress. Uh, a 25 year or so project to restore the land. And you've got artists impressions inside the Trundlemere lookout here of what uh, they hope it's going to look like but at the moment as I say it's very much work in progress and uh, we did see a couple of uh, birds of prey, kestrel and uh, a buzzard. OK, if you travel north, back up the uh, B660 uh, to Ramsey St Mary, then turn right to Ramsey Heights, the little hamlet of Ramsey Heights, and then right again into Chapel Road, there's the uh, Wildlife Trust Countryside Centre, which is open all year round. But I've never actually been inside there, but you carry on up the uh, road, which eventually comes a dirt track to... Uh, for me the jewel of uh, the Great Fen and that's uh, Wood Walton Fen which I've featured uh, on YouTube a couple of times at least. There's beautiful woodland walks and uh, a couple of mirrors and uh, reed bed. It's a nice reserve all year round but uh, for me the best time to visit is spring and summer. There's a wealth of flora and fauna here and uh, plenty of uh, butterflies but probably the star species of uh, Wood Walton Fen are the Marsh Harriers so I'll leave you with a look at those. 